Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode on the Lambretta trailer. This is the final stage on this. We're doing the next piece of artwork. As you can see on the screen here, this is what we're doing. That's the image we're gonna work from today. I've got all this penciled out. As I said in the last video, we've got enough white down there to work off of. When I sprayed this white, I didn't say this in the last one, I put the white base coat down and then when it dried, I got a scotch bright and just scotched over and keyed that up before I done the penciled outline on it. So I just wanted to let you know I've done that. Um, things that we're going to be using today, similar sort of colours, as you can see it's a quite dark image. We've got little bits of pinky reds in there. We've got very faint blues, I don't know how much that's picking it up. But on these screens you can change, this is like dynamic setting, so it's quite bright. You've got movie and standard on this. So it just sort of changes the image. I keep it on that one because it's the brightest. So I won't base my piece, may come out completely different to that. I'll get the look of it right, but the actual brightness of the what's on the screen will be different as that other side was compared to the screen. So I'm gonna drink some more coffee and I'll see you in the first time lapse. I'll do a bit of time lapse and then I'll stop and I'll talk through. Then I'll do another bit of time lapse and I'll just keep doing that. Any tricks and tips along the way that I'm doing in the time lapse, I'll talk you through them bits when we do the little intervals. So I'll see you in a bit guys. little time lapse that just happened there I'll talk you through now the stages that I did I first got some tracing paper and I traced round the center image which is this one that piece there we trace around that and then I slid this piece out put that down on there and we got some transfer paper 
cut a piece of transfer paper out, which is a low tack paper. It's basically for, they use it in the sign industry for transferring graphics across. You put it over the vinyl graphic and then you can put it on the vehicle, squeegee it and then pull the transfer tape off and that bit gets thrown away. But it's brilliant stuff for using in airbrushing if you've not used it because you can draw on it. It's great for masking out. I've still got that piece on there now. So we put the tracing paper on top, cut round it and I made a mask. So that's what you can see there. That's that basic mask that's round the centre of the image. And that was just to shield that white off from this bit of background that I've put in to keep that nice and bright. I've just started dropping some of the branches in. There's absolutely loads. It can be random. I've not got to completely follow every single line. Just do it random. So I've just put the main big pieces in that are coming up close to this artwork. So I'll drop a few more pieces in round here on the next time lapse. Start getting these tree bits in. I'm going to keep this mask. When I come to start painting the centerpiece, I'll peel this off and keep hold of it. So then later on, if I need to darken this background up, because as I said in the previous video, once you start doing this piece, then you can start working your tones and you'll see if you need to go darker. I mean, I think I do. I've just put a little bit in just to get me started and get the basic shapes of where things are gonna go. We'll keep this mask and use that later on. The paints that I've been using, I used a bit of titanium white on this piece here and a few little dotty pieces. I've used a transparent fluorescent blue and I've also used another blue which has got a green shade in it and I've mixed them with like a shading grey, toned them down with a drop of black and just drop these colours in around this piece here because you've got a lot of blues in this. I mean this could go a lot darker but as I say once I get these silhouettes in and these darks once we start working this piece we can see how dark and how far we need to go with that. So that's that stage and stick on another time lapse and we'll crack on and then I'll give you another talk through if there's any bits I'm doing I'll give you a talk through on the next stage. I'll see you in a bit guys. basically been chipping away at this background we're going to black this back piece out here because on this image it sort of curves around so I'm just going to black these pieces out at the back and then your trees will just go off into the distance into the black there I've picked up a new reference screen as you can see this one's absolutely huge uh, the Samsung was really good but the Samsung belongs in the other studio mounted to the wall i unscrewed it for in here to start on the size of this tank and i thought no i'll pick one up for here so this is basically just a cheap second hand led lg it's got a usb in the side um, you can you can do all your zooms on it like this which is really handy so you can zoom your images right in 
So that's pretty cool. And now I've put it on this screen, it's brought the colours out more on this screen. So we've got some very light pink purples coming through here, all around this piece. So I'm going to drop some transparent purples, very light, and just do a dust over so where they are in this image here, just give them that, that sort of coloration on the outside. But the main thing we're going to do is concentrate on this, these outer pieces, get all this background knocked in so I'm not getting the overspray on this at, at all. Then we can demass this and then we can crack onto this centerpiece. So it's just a little quick update, tell you where I am. The paints that I've used in that last time lapse, I've used a blue, which is this one. And I mix that with a bit of carbon black, just to drop a carbon black in it, toned it down and just started doing dark, darkening off these. And I'm doing all the trees pieces in that same mix. It's got the bit of blue in it. And then I'll go over with a jet black in the real dark ones that are set back and the backs of these, the edges will be in the jet black. So I'm gonna drink some more coffee. I'll stick it on another time-lapse, crack on with a load of this, and I'll give you another talk through. We should be moving on to this piece then, guys. So I shall see you in a bit. to the theme guys <laughs> right I'll tell you what I've been doing um, I've been trying to get this in as you say I took the mask off 
I've put that up there out of the way. I started off with a value three and just dusted over a bit of light gray. And then I thought to speed things up a bit, I'll knock this out in transparent shading gray. So when you're working in transparent, it's basically, if you've ever worked with candies, you'll put a layer down and then you put another layer down and it starts to get darker, darker, darker. It is a tricky way of painting. It just saves you going through your tones. Because I could go through all the values on these, like one to 10 in these, and go through this picture and just take forever. So using a transparent, you can just keep going over it and over it and over it. Because on these you've got, on here you've got some real, these are blacks. So I'm just darkening off these in the transparents. Go as far as I can with the transparent. And now sharpen up with blacks as I go along. So I'm just basically working through the image in transparent. And then on the darks and the highlights I'll go in and I'll start sharpening up with the shields, just bouncing it off, sharpen all the lines up. And then I'll put the sharp highlights in. And then any textures that we need, I can just start knocking them in. Because some of these textures are like hazy. So you just knock them with an eraser and you get that texture that you're after. You just start knocking the textures in. So yeah, this is going to take some time, guys, working this through. So it's going to be a lot of time lapses. I won't put full time lapses in. I'll just chop them in the edit so they're quick because this, this video will be like forever. And we've got to get the clear coat stage done in this video as well. So I just wanted to give you a little rundown where we are. So I've been using transparent. If you're going to use transparent in your portrait, take your time. Nice and slow, just build the layers up. And you've really got to dial your pressure in as well because your transparent's a lot thinner. You probably probably caught me in the time lapse. I've been pinching, clearing, clearing the tip dry, and then just dialing in on the pressure because you can go in if you've got too high a pressure, you can spider web it quite quickly and go with the paint. And there's been times where I've gone in, it's gone like that, and it's just basically dab the finger on it, wipe it off, go back in, and then dial your pressure in again. Because I started off with a, another transparent, and it was an old bottle and it was just clogging and clogging, so that went in the bin, and I grabbed my newer one, and that flows a lot better. So yeah, old paint, not great, mate, guys. So, we'll crack on. Uh, I'll stick in another time lapse, and I'll stop on the next interval. There won't be much talk on the next interval, because you, I've told you what I'm doing now. I'm going through this in transparent, so you'll see me work through transparent. And if there's anything else, I'll pause it, give you a little chat, so yeah, let's crack on guys. Late nights, been a long flight, stayed on. Strange time, it's a strange time in my life. I, I took a drive home. To clear my mind, oh And I ended back at your spot for what felt like a millionth time Reconnection from separate sections Cause we could meet in the middle with no sense of direction If it's sun up to sundown, we mess around We're way too involved now I never wanted someone to disappear To disappear To just get out of here I never wanted someone to take control I let you take control I let you in too close So baby, just go ghost uh -huh. Now baby, just go ghost uh -huh. hey. You called, I let you in and fall 
kept our secrets hidden Eating fruit so forbidden Kept our secrets safe Cause the temptation It felt like pure relation I gave you my attention But now it's hard to mention I don't feel a spark when you say my name Reconnection from separate sections Cause we could meet in the middle With no sense of direction If it's sun up to sun down We mess around We'll wait to evolve now Right guys, a little break, coffee break, and I'll give you a little talk through. We're starting to work down. I've dropped very light tints of green in there. There's gonna be a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown in there as well, a little bit of like rust color. But we're working down, we're getting there. Just dropping in and I'll get all this bit done to this detail, and then I'll start sharpening up bits as we go down and then putting more highlights in and just knocking little bits back. And just giving a few textures. But that's where we are. It's coming together now guys, I hope that's picking that up. Because I've got the overhead light on. It's hard to get light and hard for this to pick up because you've got daylight bulbs on the outers. I usually have them on and it just brightens everything up. But yeah, a little pause on where we are. I've dropped a few, just a tint of greens in the backs where these trees are. As I say, once we get this in, I can then gauge on the darks around there. But I think that's coming together quite well. So I'll stick on another time lapse and I'll give you another talk through in a bit. See you in a bit, guys. I never wanted someone to take control. I let you take control. I let you in too close, too close. So baby, just go ghost. Now, baby, just go ghost. time lapses I've killed the Grios needle <laughs> I uh, pinched it slightly bent it straightened it bent it again straightened it so yeah I've got to sort that out I started getting some weird spray patterns with that it's a real because it's a real it's a 0 0.2 but it's a soft needle I've found in them so just be careful if you get one the needles are a bit bit soft but we've sorted this, we've done it. We've dropped the, the light bits of purple in the blues, gone around, put some more of the bits in the tree in. I'm gonna call that done. I could spend another two, three hours on this and just keep working it and working it and working it. But it's all in, it looks like the, the image. I've got all the darks in, I've got my signature in there. So yeah, we're gonna call that done, guys. The next stage on this, it's going to be the clear coat stage, so I'm going to have to get, I'll get, put stick you on a time lapse. I'll get all tied up in here, move all the stuff out. We'll get all this unmasked, and then I'm going to, because I was going to clear coat just these sides and do a blend edge on the top. I'm going to clear coat the whole thing. So I'm going to wet sand this centre bit that I didn't wet sand 
the wet sand there and I'll clear it all in one hit so it's got a fresh coat of clear over everything but that's where we've got to today so that's all finished that's in probably drop a couple more highlights in now I've stood back and put the other lights on I can see a bit better but yeah I'll see you in the next stage, stage guys it'll be a time lapse and we'll be getting this sorted in here ready for clear coat <music> had a bit of a disaster guys uh, I've just been buzzing around sorting this out as you know and I've come to demass this now you know like how long I've spent on this tank airbrushing the person who painted this tank well this trailer clearly didn't key it up because as I have pulled the masking tape off we have got this and all this is peeling off so now I've got to repair all that along there where this hasn't been keyed up properly and all this paint is just peeling off as you can see that's just absolutely knackered that and if that goes any further that's going to screw all that artwork I've spent six hours on painting and the same this side just taking the masking off and bad paint so yeah four days about four days work to be ruined by a bad painter because that is clearly not keyed up under there and that's just peeling off so that's probably screwed all my work up I'm going to have to get in touch with the customer tell him to send me the paint code over and then I'm going to have to repair all this and then just pray that this doesn't go any further because if it hits that and that comes off that's all my work down the swanee so these are the things you deal with guys when you get panels come in and you're not painting them yourself somebody else is painted them these are the issues you get and it just puts more work and time on your job but anyway the artwork's done i think it's looking quite cool i've just got to spend another day now repairing all this so i shall see you in the next step guys we are now going to be moving on to part five of the Lambretta trailer because I'm not going to be clear coating this today um, yeah so we're up to that stage so I'll see you in part five where I'll be doing some prep work and repairing this so you'll get to see a little repair video on this trailer so thanks for watching this has really made my day uh, you get all this way and things like this happen it's an absolute ball ache but it's got to be fixed so yeah I'll see you all in part five I'll get this one uploaded now yeah I'll do a bit of editing I've had enough of painting today I've spent four hours five hours on that side around there and then that happens not good not happy bunny so yeah I'll see you in part five, guys.